Yo! What up guys and welcome back to another one. I'm finally doing this video. I've had this video on my mind for a long time and as you guys can tell, there's a reason why it's been on my mind. Because as a duck hunter, as a waterfowl hunter, one of my biggest worries is shooting my gun not knowing that the tip of my barrel is plugged with mud. Now the reason why this has been on my mind for so many years is because I have heard absolute horror, horror stories about this. I mean, bad deals where people actually uh, get really hurt from their barrel exploding due to them pulling the trigger. The end of that barrel is locked with mud. And yeah, bad things happen, right? So I've always wondered what would happen if I actually pulled the trigger because there has been a couple times that I've stumbled or fell, you know, running out to go get a crippled bird or something in the marsh, in the mud, in the field. It doesn't matter where, you get what I'm saying. But there actually has been a couple times where I've had to clean out the end of my shotgun barrel with dirt, mud, get it out of there before I shot again. So, I've always wondered what would happen if I pulled the trigger today, we're going to find out. But first, we got to run to Harbor Freight. I have to get something for the video here. I don't have a vise, so I need to find a vise, and then we're going to get out to the field, put the gun in the vise. Yeah, you, you know what's coming next. Well, that should work about right there. Woo! It is windy out here, guys. I'm sorry if all you hear is <laughs> But I tried to get out of the wind as much as possible. So if you hear the trees blowing around a lot, I am sorry. But I went and got my vise from Harbor Freight, and I need a device for the shop anyway, so on these shooting videos where I don't want to be near the gun, I'll be able to use the vise, and I'm actually going to pull the trigger with a rope. So let's get this thing set up real quick. Well, I think this is gonna do it right here. This will get the job done. I was like, you know what? Do I have to have a wood table and everything? And I'm like, no, probably not. I just need a vise, something to hold it in place so the gun don't go boom all over the place. So now I guarantee a lot of you are wondering, Bobby, what gun are you using there? Well, we'll get to that in a minute, but first check this bad boy out. Oh yeah. That is the new Early Riser 2.0 design from Ducks Waterfowl, and this is actually their t-shirt of the month. Every month, once a month, I get a different t-shirt in the mail. And it's at a pretty darn good price too, only like 15 bucks a t-shirt. Yeah, not bad, huh? If you guys want to sign up for the t-shirt of the month, I will link it down in the description below. But like I said, I'm sure a lot of you are like, Bobby, what gun is this? This is the first shotgun that I actually started the channel with. This was the first shoddy that I was swinging around on some of the first videos. And let me tell you what, this gun has seen better days. It's served its life purpose on the channel for videos. And even before the channel was even derived, this gun did a bunch of killing. So, Long story short, this gun I've had for, I don't know, probably seven to 10 years, and it's completely worn out. This is actually a TriStar that I got for like 250 bucks, like I said, seven or 10 years ago. So before you guys get mad that I'm destroying a perfectly good shotgun, guess what? It's not perfectly good. It will not eject a shell. It won't chamber a shell. It misfires a lot. Literally all the internals are wore out from me putting those big old shells through it so, for so long. So it is time to dedicate this beauty to the channel. It's going to go down in history today, letting us all see what happens when we jam the end of that barrel with mud. Like I said, guys, this has always been on my mind, and it needs to be on all your guys' minds as well. If you're in the marsh, if you're in the swamps, if you're in just a wheat field, and you stumble, and the tip of your barrel hits the dirt, always, guys, put it on safety. Make sure, you know, the gun is on safety. You need to make sure the barrel is clear before you go shooting it again. Just check. It's always worth checking. Seriously, you could... You could severely harm yourself or somebody else if we don't keep it on our mind to keep the barrels of these shotguns clean. So I've never got to witness what actually happens when you pull the trigger and not clean it out. So that's what we're going to do. So think about it y'all. We're just sitting here walking, sneaking up on some squirrels or something and oh, oh man, I tripped and fell. 
my barrel went in the dirt, but who cares? I'm just gonna keep hunting. That's where we all mess up right there, is we keep hunting and we don't check the barrel. Look at the end of that bad boy. Oh yeah, can you imagine what might happen if I don't clean that out? Oh, it looks horrible, right? Oh, I'm sorry, old girl. I'm sorry. This may not destroy you, and it might. I, I'm, I'm sorry. All right, so we are locked and ready to go. Got the gun loaded up here, got it in the vise. We got the GoPro. Let's turn that on. Got her all ready here. I'm gonna take her off safety. Woo, here we go. <laughs> so I'm actually gonna go in front of the truck. Sorry about the wind, guys. Here's my string. So I just gotta pull it. I'm gonna, uh, yeah, I feel, I think this is the best bet right here. Let's give it a whirl. Oh my God, it wrecked it. Oh, look at this. Oh no. <laughs> Bad news bears. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, that is why you always make sure your barrel is clear. I've wanted to do that for a long time. And thank God we have the uh, YouTube channel because it allows us to do crazy stuff just like this. If you guys like this video, I got two more videos planned that are just like this one. You guys are gonna love them. So right now, if we get this video to 1,000 likes, I will have the next video up next week. So guys gotta let me know if you like these videos because I love them. Now, I'm not saying I can go destroy every gun possible because I love my guns. But the reason why I elected this bad boy to die today is because I got my use out of her, like I said. And this right here is to remind not only myself, but you guys. Gun safety, guys, that right there can happen. Now, look at this. Look at how much of the barrel it took off. It completely just took the choke out of the end of the gun. I don't know where it ended up. Can you imagine somebody being next to you, like right beside you and that happening? Let alone what could happen to yourself. I'm gonna try to find the, the rest of the gun here. I wonder where the choke is. I have literally been searching everywhere and I cannot find this choke. Sorry about the wind again, y'all, but uh, I can't find this choke. Oh, look at that. It's the end of it. Completely shredded this choke. Holy smokes. That's the only piece that I've found and I've been looking for about 10 minutes. Holy sh... Oh my God, look at that. Let me get out of the wind here. So, not only does this happen here, but I just found both pieces to the choke, and look at that. It completely just dissected this choke out of the barrel, out of the threads, and actually separated the end of the choke off of the rest of the choke, if that makes any sense. So, there's still one piece I can't find, but look at that. That's incredible. So, this type of damage, guys, I am telling you right now, this can be deadly, guys, seriously. So again, I know that this video is entertaining, but please don't try this at home. I was extra cautious. There's no way that I'd hold the gun and fire it, obviously. Now, especially knowing what we know now, guys, I stress to you, please check the ends of your guns. Make sure they are on safety. When you check them, Please pull out the shell, whatever you gotta do. Please be safe, guys, because this right here, this can literally change everything for, for somebody. It may not be you, but it might be the your buddy, your brother, your dad, your sister that's sitting beside you in the blind. Seriously, guys, this is an eye-opener for all of us out there that duck hunt, waterfowl hunt, dove hunt, turkey hunt, any of, any and all the above, guys. Please, 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 gun safety. 
Okay, enough jamming there, Bob, but something just came on my mind here. Something just came into thought. And one thing is, it, it's not only mud that we have to be worried about, guys. Being in the end of that barrel, if you fall, you know, the whole nine yards. If you have a, uh, quote, bad shell or either a shell that has a wad that doesn't work with your choke, it's happened a bunch, guys. I'm sure you've heard of it. Wads getting stuck in the end of barrels and in the barrel in general. It's kind of like the mud deal. It may not be as packed in there, but still I've heard horror stories about wads getting stuck in barrels. People, uh, you know, not realizing that they're in there, pulling up on the next bird, pulling the trigger, and bad things happen just like that. So, another reminder, guys. If you have a shell go off and it just goes and, and something don't seem right, you know what I mean? You know what, what, all of us know what our guns are supposed to feel like, sound like when a good shell goes off. If something's weird and wrong, check that barrel, unload your gun, look through that barrel, make sure it is clear, guys. I stress this so much, accidents just like this can happen a lot more easy than we think I mean honestly how many times have y'all uh, tripped in the marsh in the in the field and jammed your barrel underwater or in the mud or in the dirt or anything like this this is just a reminder I know this again I know this is entertaining and believe me I had a lot of fun seeing the results and, and just doing it so I'm glad I'm glad y'all enjoy it but at the end of the day this is a big bold reminder for all of us Mom, I ruined my gun. Can you buy me a new one? You won't? Will you buy me a new one, sis? No. No. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. When I left to go do this video, my wife was like, Bob, I really don't like you doing that by yourself. Why don't you get your dad to go with you? You know, in case an accident happened. But you guys seen, I was careful. I took the precautions, right? So, guys, again, I dedicated this gun as a reminder to all of us not only you guys watching I know I'm preaching but to myself man it's important that we uh, really pay attention uh, to our guns and we handle them safely uh, there's other people around us at all times in the blinds duck hunting uh, isn't always a solo sport so I hope you guys like this video like I said I have a few more ideas uh, just like this one right along the same lines so if you guys want to see them videos you got to let me know in the comment section below if you have an idea like this for a video go ahead and drop it down there as well but like I said if this video gets to 1,000 likes I will be sure to have that video up in a couple days so I forgot to tell you guys what ammunition I was using earlier but I'm using the federal blue box the speed shock this is one and an eighth ounce 1550 feet per second this is a three inch shell number two shot I wanted to use something that I use every day when I'm waterfowl hunting for duck and geese and three inch number twos are my go-to shell but again if you guys are interested in the ducks t-shirt of the month I will link it in the description below go pick you one up it's always awesome opening the old mailbox and seeing what duck shirt is in the old package because I'm bad about buying new clothes, especially like summer t-shirts. I'll buy hoodies. I love buying my hoodies. But t-shirts, I don't buy a lot of t-shirts. So it's nice, one a month at my doorstep, don't have to go to the store and buy it. And I'm telling you, Ducks puts a lot of thought into the designs of these for you guys. It isn't just like some Joe Schmo slapped something on the back of a shirt and sent it to you. They are dope. They are nice, clean designs. But like always, subscribe if you haven't. Thank you each and every one of you guys for being here for this video. This is one of many that I got coming like this. So again, subscribe. We will see you on the next one. Peace.